Hey everybody, this is nine week old Kasha and we're going to do a little bit of shaping of different things for her. She's just nine weeks old. I'm not going to call anything anything as far as commands go, but I'm going to just start luring her into um, different positions that I want and then I'm going to click and treat. And this would be a block of time. She just got out of the crate. We took her for the bathroom and now we're going to do a little block of time as I call it where she's actively training with me. And so she's learning the clicker sound. I've only done this with her one other day. So you see her perk up. She's like, oh yeah, I remember that. It was two days ago and she gave me a sit, which was awesome. So I'm just gonna click things she, do she does that I really like, like that. Looking at me sitting. Nice. So that's a behavior she's learned and it's been reinforced with food. So I'm going to work with that right now. And I'm also going to do some stuff. And because it looks so good, I actually might call it a sit. When I like, when the dog is offering me something that I think looks great and it's what I want, then I can call it a sit. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do like 10 or 20 reps of this. And, and also a come. If she comes when I say come, come. I'll click that as well. Sit. 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 Maybe add a, a hand, a hand uh, lure in there as well, or cue. Kasha, sit. So let's just do the hand lure cue, see if she gets it. And she's so little. There you go, it's right there. And I would trim her hair. Let's see if she does it with just my hand. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> it's right there, sister. It's right there. There you go. So there's two things I could be doing. Teaching her a hand signal. That she already did it, so. Or giving a name to it, which is a verbal cue. Sit. And I'm going to stick with that one for the sit this time. But maybe the next section session, I just do the hand cue. Kasha, sit. So she got distracted by a dog over there. Sit. 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 I can also feed her from my hand. I just am choosing to drop right now. Kasha, sit. Let's go. Kasha, sit. So she got distracted by a dog drinking. Maybe two more. Kasha, sit. Which makes me think she might be getting bored. I'll do one more. Kasha, sit. Now dog's scratching. Actually, one more going this way. Sit. Kasha, sit. Okay, here we go, last one. Kasha, sit. And she's watching the click. So she's watching my hand. I'm going to put my hands behind my back. I'm going to do one more so you can see that. Because I'd rather have her look at me. So I can click her looking at me after she sits. Kasha, sit. Just like that. I'm going to leave it at that for this session of sit. Now I'm just going to click and treat other things like getting onto this place cot over here. You guys can see it luring her on because eventually this will be teaching her what you know place means or go to your bed but I want to keep it fun for her it's also a little movement so you know getting up on something I can build upon that good you know you see me luring oh and she's looking at the boundary like how do I do that what do I do with this here I'll do it a little more sideways so you could see her 
navigating it. Good girl. I could maybe take the leash off. Let's see what happens if I do that. If you're just, because she's paying attention to me. Good girl. And she's focusing. So people think, why aren't you feeding her when she's doing it? I'm using the clicker as a marker. You don't understand that concept? You have to go watch the marker video. I have or read about it on Google. Hey, Kasha. I can also do it. Yes! You don't have to have a clicker. Yes! Food is in my hand right now. Let's see if I can do it without food in my hand. Yes! So that was both, right? But I'm going to stick with the clicker because she likes it and I like it. But I do use yes a lot as a marker. So that time she offered it, right? Let's see if she does it again. So we're not only teaching her eventually what place means, the very beginnings of it, but more importantly at her age, just giving her something fun to do that's athletic, getting on top of something, confidence building. Good girl. So this is active training. Let's see what she does here. So she's offering a sit, which is awfully nice. She might, good girl, she might see my dog outside now, which might distract her, we'll see. I might do two or three more of these. The help, good. So sometimes she starts offering it, but don't expect that she really knows what we want. So I'm bringing the help back in, which is my hand lure. And I'm going to end on that, good girl, with a few of them. And now I'm going to go do, I'm going to build upon this and take it over to this area where I have some boxes she can hop up on and see what she does with that. And it's closer to the other dogs. So again, we're still working on our block of time. Let's see if we can do this. So this is just a, another version of what we just did. And maybe I'll click coming down. Can you see her coming down? Yes, you can. Confidence building. And for me, I like seeing the fact that she's using her hind legs to pop up like that. I can't tell you how many older dogs I've worked with that can't get in the car. Older big dogs, you know, like one-year-old, two-year-old. They never learn how to hop up on their back ends because they were constantly picked up. You know, whether it's the whole body or half the body. And I think a dog to learn a little bit of agility is a good thing in their body. Body awareness. So no lure that time. Kasha, come. I'm using my body as a lure. Oops, I was a little delayed with that. Kasha, come. Body as a lure. I'm going to do like two more of these. I mean, this is going to tire this little one out. Good girl. Let's see if she offers it. Good girl. Let's bring her back down. Let's go. So notice I didn't get as close this time. 
I was standing here before, and this time I only got to here. Let's go. A couple more. Let's just walk this way, change my body position. Good girl. Okay, two more. Let's go. So now I've really switched it up, right? I'm on a different side. So let's go back to where I was. Okay, and I'm going to do one more. Let's go. Kasha. So she's getting a little bored with this. Good. Give her a little jackpot for that. So there's a little, you know, a couple different things we've been doing. We worked on the sit a little bit, starting to call it something. Good girl. As well as then we went into doing some place work. And now let's see what she does on the treadmill. Let's check that out. This might be interesting. I'm going to get the leash for that. I'm going to let her, don't knock, nope. She started chewing on the, the leg of the tripod there. And so I also, nope, nope. She knows what nope means. Good. She's learned some noping. So it's giving her, that's more of the, the passive training. Nope. Drop. Good. She's also learned drop. I taught her owner to teach that. And she's a feisty, wily one. Good girl. I could have clicked that if I was paying more attention to what she was doing, but I said good, and I'll give her a treat. Um, she's pretty feisty, so teaching this girl a nope at this age is plenty okay. Let's see what happens if you just start walking. And I'm going to do it with food in my hand to keep her engaged. Hey, Kasha. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yep, I had a feeling that would happen. Just walking. She doesn't even realize what's going on. Now she might. Nope. Good. I mean, this is something, this is confidence building for a dog. Come on, let's go. Good girl. And I use let's go, meaning we're just moving along. Let's go. And eventually that will come into off-leash hiking, but also will transfer. Let's go. He, into a heel. Oh, your foot's caught. Let's move that. Let's move that whole thing. Good girl. And now we'll just walk. Nope. I don't want her doing that. Let's go. Good girl. So maybe I'll get a little further from that. Let's go. So she's trying to make food happen by sitting. Hey, quit. So that's another youngin over there that I'm stop working on. She used to bark crazy, and she's really food motivated, so it's hard for her to watch me work with this girl over here. Gosh, yeah. Ashti wants to be part of it all. So this is passive training for the four-month-old Ashti. Let's go. Good girl. So I'm saying let's go. Good girl. Let's go. Good. So I can just ignore Ashti over there, right? But I can also offer her information. She knows what note means too. So I'm going to get a little firmer with my note. Nope. Good. Good dogs. And if I weren't attached to this little one here, Akasha, I would go give Ashti a treat right now. Good. And all the dogs over there know what good means. The other two are just being fine. I'll show you real quick. See her over there, and the other two are lying down. But back to this one. Hey, come on. Back to this little nine-week-old. Nope. Good. So she's not even really aware of the fact that she's on a treadmill. It's, it's just not even bugging her. Nope. Let's go. Good. I want her here, and that's where she'll get fed. Good. 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 Nope. Nope. Now I'm working a little bit on pressure, least pressure, not having her pull. Good. Having her walk with a loose leash like this. Do you see this? So every time she gets ahead, I'll say, nope, 
let's go. And I'll feed her when she's loose like this. So this is the beginnings of shaping, let's go, her little heel with me, or a loose leash walk. Good girl. And she likes to sit, because that's basically what she's been reinforced for. Good. Let's go. I shouldn't have dropped those. That was my bad. Good. So maybe another half a minute doing this. Good girl. Let's go. Nope. I don't want her to see. There we go. Nope. She's pulling. Let's go. Good. So just this. Loose leash. Good girl. And if the, the younger we do this with the dog, the better, it's just more confidence for her. All this stuff is confidence building. Good girl. Good girl. Let's go. So I only feed her when she's walking with a loose leash. If she's sitting right now, I'm, I don't want to reinforce the sit. I just want to reinforce the let's go right there. Let's go. And now, sit. Good. So I told her to sit, and now I'm going to reinforce that. Good girl. So let's do a little clicking. And Okay, wait, before I say that. Hey, Ashti. I mean, sorry, Kasha, you sit. Is She's looking at me. Not my hands. No. So I want her to look at me, and then I'm going to say, let's go. Let's go. And she can get off. Good girl. So the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm just mixing up things. I'm not doing anything in particular. That's special. I don't have a particular order. But now I'm going to click and treat her for coming at me. Maybe I'll take this off. Let her get some water. Oh, you want some more water? So I leave, sometimes I put water. I'm going to let her drag this for a sec and see what she does, because I want her to follow through. Now we're going to do a little bit of structured stuff. Nope. So I'm following up the nope with a bit of a, a, a auditory interrupter correction. Kasha, come. And I'm going to take the leash off. Nope. So just like the clicker marks a behavior and I reinforce with food, the nope for this girl over here, Passive training over here, active training with Kasha, passive training with Ashti. The nope, I'm reinforcing with that crate bang. Kasha, come. Good. Kasha, come. My clickers. Kasha, come. Moving back to increase the distance. She's coming. Kasha, come. Oh, and then she passed me. Kasha, come. And I can even lure that into a sit before she, um, Kasha, come. I'll show you. Before I click. Whoops. Get that one. Kasha, come. Because that's what I want the sit to look like anyway. Kasha, come. I want it to come into a sit. And she's staring at my hands, but I don't care. She's, Kasha, come. She's only nine weeks old. Kasha, come. Kasha, come. Maybe two more. She's getting bored. Kasha, come. Get that lure out. Kasha, come. Running back. Kasha, come. Now, so see this is my hand lure? And then, it, I don't care if she downed. Kasha, come. Hand lure to a sit. Good. And I'm going to let her have that. So now I'm going to take her back out for a potty. Okay, so we're going to take her out. Kasha, sit. Good. So the reward here is mostly the door. Hey, sit. Good. I used the lure, but the reward's going to be going out. Nope. Remove what she wants. Sit. Sit. Good. Nope. Removing what she wants. She's capable of doing this. I want to teach this threshold thing to her. So we're really active training. This is more real world. Sit. Good. Let's go. I got some eye contact and now we're going to go potty. Let's go. Good girl. 
Go potty. Go potty. Go potty. Go potty. Go potty. Oh, you have a leaf on you. Kasha, go potty. Let's go. Go potty. It's a pretty small area, not a lot of distractions. Hey, it's over there is more distracting than these rocks, let me tell you. Go potty. Come here. Go potty. And if she doesn't, nope. Come. Good girl. And I had a treat for her. Good girl. Kasha, go potty. Go potty. Go potty. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So now I know she's safe as far as not peeing in the house again. We're going to go do a tiny little walk. I'm going to do a little clicker training. So I'm going to do a little clicker work. I don't want to be off in the woods too much. I want her to be where it's a little bit distracting, but not a lot. So if she goes to something, I might click her like, oh, let's not check that out. Let's come back to me. So like, for example, I'm going to throw this leaf and she's going to see it and I'm going to click and see if the, the food I have is valuable enough or the treat over there. I don't know if she'd come to that. She's in the grass. Good girl. Let's say I didn't want her doing that. I mean, she's sniffing. I don't really care. Good girl. I want her to leave certain items sometimes because maybe they are dangerous or it's an unfamiliar dog or I don't know. Um, so I'll click her to come back to me. So let's just walk around. So this is some exploring. I don't mind that she does some exploring at all. Let's see how it wasn't enough. Good girl. And I could also say, Kasha, come. So we'll do a little bit of exploring. I don't know if you're going to see me because I'm going to walk this way. Good girl. And just check out life a little bit. This is an unstructured walk. She's going to see, there's a little toy over here. You guys can't see it, but she's sniffing it right now. Let's say it was something, a trash. Kasha, come. Nope, Kasha, come little pressure good but it was a toy and it smells like dog so it's fine you know she could have played with that but I'm just trying to give you an example of how I'm using the clicker outside on an exploratory walk and I wouldn't be doing this much clicking to be honest I'd be let her you know none of these things are dangerous good girl and instead of just clicking I could I could just practice a recall Kasha come and then click it either way So I'm going to go do this for about five, ten minutes, and I'll be back. So we did that for, I don't know, ten, eight minutes. And I'm just going to show you her going up and down these stairs because that was kind of fun. Let's go. Good girl. Let's go means we're just moving. Kasha. Kasha, come. And so Kasha, come. She turns around. She comes. I click. Good girl. Kasha, come. Good girl. Kasha, come. Oh, you're going to choke on that one. Finish that. Kasha, come. And at some point, you know how we were doing the sit at the end of the come before? I'm not going to do that yet, but we could do that outside at some point because that's adding in a little bit harder learning and maybe more expectation in a higher distracting environment, right? Versus just inside, which she's been in a few times now. Kasha, come. She was going to give me the sit, and I could see that. So for me, Kasha, let's go, is we're just moving. We've changed directions, or she's stuck out in a bush smelling. Kasha, let's go. Good. Kind of like that, where I, I didn't necessarily mean her to, need her to come in and sit. And eventually, she's going to come in and sit when I say, Kasha, come. Like that. To me, that's a sit. I mean, a, a recall. I want her to reset with that set. Nope. So she's, nope. Good. She was chewing my hand. Let's go. Good. 
All right, now I'm going to actually do a little, a little bit just here, up and down this gravel bit that I think you can see. We're just going to, I'm going to keep her by my side here. And this is when a micro prong might come in handy because see all this pulling? I don't want, I could use food, which is totally fine right now. I can keep her right here, good, with, the, with food. But I am not afraid of, nope, leash pressure at all, especially done gently. Let's go. And this will be, get her into a sit, good. This will become a heel. And I'm just going to do this for a little bit of time here. I'm going to have her sit and then I feed her one. Otherwise, she's just kind of licking at my hands. Heel. Good. I gave her some here. Heel. Sit. But see this pressure here? Good. I'd rather be using um, a little tiny micro prong. Sit. Good. And good to me isn't as exciting as the clicker or yes. It's keep doing what you're doing. It's almost like saying stay. But right here you wouldn't say stay, 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 heal. But you would be saying good, good, good. So if you watch my videos and hear the way I use the word good, it's like I'm saying stay. Basically, it's just keep doing it. Because that's what stay is. Just keep in your spot. Good. I'll do one more lap, and then we'll be done with this. So this is structured walking. Heel, and I'm going to say heel, because why, why not? At this stage of the game, you know, we're just doing a few short puppy uh, training sessions. Heel, good. So I just think that sit, sit. I just think the more she's exposed to with me, the better for when she goes back to her mom. Because she's not in a board and train program. She's just here for some day training. So this will be the last section of this. And I like it by the wall and this sit. Good. Because it keeps her in a straight line. And now, very first time I'm introducing this word to her, but it's break. Break it means you can get up and go do your thing. So we're going to take her back in. We're going to make our way to the door, like we've been doing, with thresholds. Come on, sit, Kasha. A little leash pressure. Kasha, sit. Good. Let's go. She looked at me. She can come in. Good girl. And the last thing we're going to do, I'm going to see. Oh, she wanted water. Good job. We're going to see what she does with a little bit of play. Let her finish her water. And because she's drinking a lot, I might take her out one more time before I put her in the crate. Just right out to that exact same potty spot that I already did. Good. So this girl, again, the passive training going on with this dog. Oh, and she just got a freebie. This dog meaning Ashti. If she wants any more, Kasha, Kasha, you want some more water? Okay, so she's in a playful mood. Let's see what she does with this. She knows the word drop. Her owner has worked with that because she likes to grab things. We've worked on that. Kasha. Oh, let's take this leash off. And this is going to be some passive training for this other puppy over here who's making a racket, who loves this game. I'm going to either ignore her or nope her sometimes. Nope. Followed up with a little crate bang. I don't know if you saw that. Hopefully you did. Kasha, drop. Good girl. Okay. And then eventually the play, the play becomes the reward again. This is hard for, uh, it's actually really good for Ashti. Ashti, no. Because it's not about you right now. 
Kasha, drop. Kasha, drop. And then I'll throw the food in. And she can go get it. Good girl. I'm sure there are other ways to teach an out command. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Nope. Oh, but she was in a down. I shouldn't have done that. She was being a good girl. Kasha, drop. Drop. Bad timing of the click. Good girl. Kasha, drop. You better finish that food. Kasha, drop. Kasha, drop. Good girl. Kasha, drop. Good girl. Good job. Like I said, at some point, it'll be the toy again for her. Good. I like that she's quiet. She's just drinking water, but I like that she's quiet. Ooh, don't knock the camera over. Kasha, drop. Maybe two more. Good girl. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. So people sometimes say, oh, good. Can I teach my dog to, can we, can we play tug? It's like, of course, but teach your dog an out or a drop command first. Drop. Kasha, drop. Wave the food. She did let it go. Get that, good girl. Oh yeah, eat it, eat it first. Good girl. Drop. Drop. Not super well timed there. Nope. Follow up that marker with a reinforcement. Maybe get louder next time. Kasha, drop. Good, and we're going to leave it at that. We're going to leave it at that. Good girl. So that's a block of time. I don't know how long that was, maybe 30. You can make that 20 minutes. You can make it an hour. It just depends on how much time you want to do with each. And then she's going to go back into her crate. But the way she's looking, come on. Good girl. So I leave it with the good, with some food in there, a little bit of food, and maybe a bully stick. Something for her to do, but it's also nap time. So it's time for her to get in a nap. And the reason this crate is in the blue crate is because at some point I want to transfer her to the blue crate. Good girl. But she looks like she might take a nap. And she can be here and here for like an hour to two. You know, maybe even three, depending on what you need to do. And then repeat that block of time. But there's a block with a nine-week-old puppy.